traffic. Mike, thank you. The Clark County Prosecutor's Office expects to file formal charges against the man accused of sexually assaulting and murdering a teenager. WDRB's Rachel Collier reveals the man's criminal past. Rachel, good morning. Good morning, and the prosecutors here at the Clark County Courthouse are already calling this a high-profile case. They say not only because of the nature of the case, but because this man was wanted by police for failing to register as a sex offender. On Saturday morning, 17-year-old Tara Willenborg was found dead in her Cambridge Square apartment. Clark County Prosecutor Jeremy Mull tells WDRB she was sexually assaulted before her murder. Now we're learning more about the man arrested for the crime, 49-year-old Richard Hooten. According to the Indiana Sex Offender Registry, Hooten's past of offenses date back to 1993 when he was convicted of aggravated sodomy and rape in Georgia and most recently charged in 2009 with sexual battery in Indiana. He had an outstanding warrant for failing to register as a sex offender. He has lived in Clark County. He also has addresses in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, uh, I believe down in Georgia. Uh, where his actual home address is now, I do not know. The coroner says Tara Willenborg was killed by asphyxiation and that she had contusions on her neck. Prosecutors expect to file former charges against Hooten today, which may include sexual assault charges. Willenborg's family says she was a former Jeffersonville High School cross-country athlete and recently received her GED. Her father says she recently moved to the apartment complex and had just started a new job. Some neighbors there say they knew of Hooten and say they'd seen him there just before the crime. Police picked Hooten up just about a mile away on Saturday and arrested him. Reporting live in Jeffersonville, Rachel Collier, WDRB News.